dear students now let us solve exercise 4.2 seventh question two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle see here we have to draw two concentric circles what do you mean by concentric circles circles having the same center but different radii are called concentric circles now we have to draw two circles with same center but different radii these are the two circles having the same center o but they are different in radius bigger circle is of radius 5 cm and smaller circle is of radius 3 cm the radii of circle are 5 cm and 3 cm now we have to find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle we have to draw a chord to the larger circle such that it should touch the smaller circle means chord of the larger circle is tangent to the smaller circle for so smaller circle the line pq is the tangent and for larger circle the line pq is the chord now pq is the point of pq is the tangent and a is the point of contact now join op and oq they are the radius of bigger circle and join oe it is the radius of smaller circle now angle oap and angle oaq is equal to 90 degree because radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact here a is the point of contact so oa is perpendicular to qp therefore angle oap and angle oaq is equal to 90 degree now we have to find the length of pq oa perpendicular to pq because tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact or angle between the radius and the tangent is 90 degree now oa is a perpendicular to the line pq you have learned in 9th standard that perpendicular drawn from the center to the chord bisects the chord if we draw perpendicular from center to the chord then the perpendicular line bisects the chord now pq is the chord of bigger circle oa is the perpendicular from center so oa bisects pq that is ap is equal to aq and here measurements are given oq is equal to 5 cm oa is equal to 3 cm aq is equal to ap because perpendicular drawn from the center perpendicular drawn from the center bisects the chord so aq is equal to ap so if we find the length of aq then 
length of AP will be equal to AQ. So it is enough if we find the length of AQ. So consider triangle OAQ. Consider right angle triangle OAQ. In right angle triangle OAQ we have length of OQ and OA. So we will get the length of AQ by applying Pythagoras theorem. Mark there AQ is equal to AP. Now consider right angle triangle OAQ. And apply Pythagoras theorem. In right angle triangle OAQ. OQ square is equal to OA square plus AQ square. OQ is 5. So, 5 square is equal to 3 square plus AQ square. So, 25 is equal to 9 plus AQ square. So, 25 minus 9 is equal to AQ square. So, AQ square is equal to 16. AQ is equal to square root of 16. AQ is equal to 4. Square root of 16 is 4. Therefore, AP is equal to 4 cm. Because AQ is equal to AP. Therefore, we want the length of the chord that is PQ. So, PQ is equal to AP plus AQ. That is 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 centimeter. So length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle is equal to 8 centimeter.